You don't need mana, you're a blood mage. What the fuck? Can you stand? was not honest. What do you mean? I cannot say what she wanted, but it was certainty, not of the cune. And her guard smelled of death. Returned if I'd let these others live? No. You were doomed from the start. I was outside my keratom. I may be corrupted. I cannot know. How I return is my choice. It must be. But that does not mean there is no meaning. Others of your kind live outside the Kuhn. You could join them. They're not my kind. I am... They have chosen to... Free? They have refused what they are. I... can't choose to not be... Brad couldn't kill me. Losing to you does not make him wrong. I have chosen. It is bred in the bone. Existing is not a choice. It is the only choice. As it tal eb, it is to be. I can't let this decision stand. If you force choice, it is not choice. Certainty is comfort. Take this secret thing, Vasvaran. Remember this day. with these things she may not have known about this but clearly patrice set a trail right to us we did what she wanted why give us away leave nothing it must be clean with no ties it well my helpful associate from the streets took the canary from the city without incident i think the incident was rather your idea Mind your tongue, dwarf. Please, do speak your mind. String me along. You know that I know. Whether you believe it or not, I wished you no harm. That might have been useful for someone, but still regrettable. A massacre of citizens protecting a slave might have forced the Chantry to doubt appeasement, to see the Kunari for the monsters they are. Perhaps finding the mage was a rushed opportunity. If such a plot existed, I see how it might be disagreeable to you. Ketogen killed himself rather than be free. I assumed he wanted to escape, just as I would. My pity is genuine, but they are not like us. You risked my life. Perhaps I should return the favor. No doubt you would prove a challenge for my guard, but I will not offer the chance today. Violence here serves no purpose. I accept the grim necessities of standing in the Maker's name, but I will not waste his gifts. You did better than you were asked. I will honor that arrangement. We will have nothing more to do with each other. I won't forget this, sister. Take your coin. Rest assured, I... the stakes. She'll be trouble. Why did I get his rivalry on that? 
and how come I didn't fight her if I was like, I want to kill you? And she was like, I understand, but you're not going to. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Before ever. We have found neither hide nor hair of the lad, Fainreel. I can only think he has fallen victim to demons or slavers. This, it was addressed to you. It seems to be from your daughter. My daughter? Then you know what she is. How she died. When I traced her to that warehouse, I should have forced her into the circle. My own weakness in the face of her pleas is what destroyed her. It is why I urged Ariani not to give in when Fainreel wished to hide. If only I had been so strong for Olivia. Well, at least you don't have to worry about the Templars finding out anymore. Thank you. She is at peace now. I would not wish to see her names. I will not forget the I can't thank you enough for letting me come here. But it hasn't been quite what I thought. Keep able to help you with your magic. Sadly, his is not a problem we've encountered before. I am studying our ancient writings, but it is a slow process. His human blood makes it difficult to train him. You know, when I lived in Kirkwall, I felt like everyone could tell by my face I was an elf. Now I understand how easily I passed. It's harder here. Still, we appreciate you bringing him here, friend. We would not see a son of our tribe suffer alone. Please, accept this as our thanks. Alright, Anders, I'll do your stupid fucking quest. I don't give a fuck about. But you're not joining my party. <sighs> I saw Carl go inside a few minutes ago. No Templars so far. I didn't see anyone suspicious out here. Let's do this fast. Alright. I'll handle the talking. You. Anders, I know you too well. I knew you would never give up. What's wrong? Why are you talking like... I was too rebellious, like you. The Templars knew I had to be... made an example of. No! How else will mages ever master themselves? You'll understand, Anders. As soon as the Templars teach you to control yourself. This is the apostate. No! Take another mage as you took him! I... Anders, what did you do? It's like... You brought a piece of the Fade into this world. I had already forgotten what that feels like. I thought the Tranquil were cut off from the Fade forever. When you're Tranquil, you never think on your life before. But it's like the Fade itself is inside, Anders. Burning like a sun. Please, kill me before I forget again. I don't know how you brought it back, but it's fading. Carl, no! I would rather die than be Tranquil. Help him. I got here too late. I'm sorry, Carl. I'm so sorry. Now, it's fading. Why do you look at me like that? Goodbye. <laughs> we should leave before more Templars come. So, let me guess. This is the part where you tell me you're an abomination. You're wrong. But not far wrong. I... This is hard to explain. When I was in Amaranthi, I met a spirit of justice who was trapped outside the Fade. We became friends, and he recognized the injustice that mages in Thedas face every day. That's different than a demon. Just as demons prey on the deadly sins of mankind, there are good spirits who embody our virtues. Spirits of compassion, fortitude, justice. They are the Maker's first children, and they have all but given up on us. Just say whatever you have to say. To live outside the Fade, he needed a host. I offered to help him. 
We were going to work together, bring justice to every child ever ripped away from his mother to be sent to the circle. But I guess I had too much anger. Once he was inside me, he changed. So you have this spirit of justice living in your head? It's not like that. He's gone now. He's part of me. It's not like we can have a conversation, feel his thoughts as my own. Not even the greatest scholar could tell you where I end and he begins. I just need your Grey Warden expertise, not a diatribe on your strange personal habits. Here. These are all the documents. I can understand if you would rather me not join you personally, or control my need for vengeance. I would ask no one to take on the danger of traveling with me. I will be here in my clinic if you need me.